Thank you, my darling. No! 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 I really feel sorry for Julie's Mother's Day, but man, it was freaking amazing for us. Hey guys, it's Jay. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> guys, I gotta tell you, Mother's Day turned out to be something absolutely different than what I was expecting. I mean, you know, I got up in the morning, I was getting ready to go head off to my mom's and celebrate with her and my brother, you know, Dex and, and, and the family. And yeah, just before I'm about to leave, literally just before I'm about to leave, our friend over at Tunjuka, his prediction on his Instagram and his YouTube page came true. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that, guys. But I got to tell you, it was one heck of an evil Lynn type of Mother's Day. It was absolutely insane. Guys, if you enjoyed this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post up the two episodes a week, and I hope you guys enjoy. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you guys will always know when new episodes are posted. Guys, it's crazy. On Mother's Day of all days, a mother load announcement was dropped on all of us for Mass Universe Revolution and this is incredible for anybody who was a fan or still is a fan of the Master Universe motion picture from 1987. Let's have a look, guys. Guys, as we know, Mother's Day has just passed and it was an amazing weekend for everyone who was celebrating Mother's Day, of course. Guys, if you forgot somehow that Mother's Day was yesterday, definitely give your mom a call, tell her that you're doing okay, and just share those wonderful memories you had growing up as a kid and what it meant to have a mother like yours. Guys, huge, huge shout out to all the mothers out there. Happy belated Mother's Day, everybody. Let's get on to the episode. Guys, I want to give a huge shout out to Toon Juka, friend of the channel. He let everybody know that there was something special coming this weekend on Friday. He went on to say that I have on good authority that there will be some massive universe revolutions news coming this weekend. Stay tuned. And to his credit, it did actually come true. Yes, indeed. Yesterday on Mother's Day, Masters of the Universe Instagram did confirm that Meg Foster, who did play Evil Lynn on the Masters of the Universe motion picture back in 1987, has returned to the Masters of the Universe in the new Netflix series Revolution. She will be playing none other than Motherboard. And of course, what an amazing time to make this announcement on Mother's Day of all things. Holy crap, everybody. This is just absolutely out of this world. I mean, for those of you who are fortunate enough to watch the 1987 movie of Mass Universe, and I did say that, yes I did, you guys will remember just how hauntingly beautiful Meg Foster was in that film. She really did portray Eva Lynn as this incredibly sinister sorceress who served Skeletor at his every whim. She was also incredibly strong-willed and proved to be as cunning as Skeletor as she did not just take his orders blindly, carefully planning her own strategies as she ended up betraying Skeletor at the very end, pulling back their forces before being finally defeated. Meg Foster has had this wonderful presence on screen ever since she was introduced years ago. I can't believe that we're finally getting Meg Foster back into the Master Universe family. One of the most striking features of Meg Foster, are of course, those piercing blue eyes. My goodness. Looking at her today, she looks just as beautiful as she did back then. Those beautiful piercing eyes really do mesmerize you and I can't wait to see her performance when she takes on the mantle of Motherboard. This is exciting me more and more and more with confirmation that Meg Foster is going to be playing Motherboard. I'm reminded of what Ted Biaselli said during his interview with Dad at Arms. This was a pivotal moment for me and I'm super excited for this because... Wait till you hear our Hordak. Oh, wait till you hear him. And it's not uh. Shaq. I know everybody's like, who's Shatner? Everyone, everyone, yeah, everyone thinks it's Shatner. That, to me, is absolutely exciting. Hordak is confirmed, of course, for Master Universe Revolution, and I really can't wait to find out who is actually playing him now that we know that Meg Foster will actually be playing Motherboard. Do we dare hope and dream that Frank Langella could possibly be Hordak? Oh my god, guys. I'm just, I'm just shaking right now. I really am. This is absolutely crazy. But this also brings us full circle to the idea that perhaps new action figures will be made with this announcement. I'm holding out hope that we will get ourselves a brand new Evelyn figure from the Master Universe motion picture. I mean, after all, many attempts have been made in the past by customizers to realize this goal. Over on HeManWorld.com, there's a full article on a custom spotlight 
Movie Evelyn by Matthew Hackley. I mean, look at this wonderful figure. Of course, this is more of a 1-6 scale figure, but I do love the likeness here of Meg Foster. And everything that's been done with this figure is just absolutely incredible. Over on the channel, Sawyer Family Reviews. They have a wonderful channel. Definitely give them a like and a follow. Tell them that Jay sent you. James on the channel did a full review of this custom figure. It was about four years ago. And honestly, this hasn't gotten enough hits. This review was absolutely stunning. James had this custom figure created by Matthew Hackley, and it is absolutely stunning. Which is an accompanying piece to the other custom figure by Matthew Hackley, Skeletor, played by Frank Langella. These two are quite the pair, and I love the way they've been created for James over at Sawyer Family Reviews. Guys, check out the full article on hemanworld.com as well as the video, which is available on the Sawyer Family Reviews. This is a wonderful take on both characters, and I gotta tell you, I was mesmerized at what I saw. Check out the trio here, they are gorgeous. Guys, do yourself a favor, head over to Sawyer Family Reviews, and of course, hemanworld.com, and take a look at these amazing custom figures for yourself. You will not be disappointed. Oh my god, guys, this is just absolutely crazy. Huge thanks once again to Njuka on Instagram. He also has a YouTube page. Guys, definitely give Tunjuka on YouTube and Instagram a like and a follow. Tell him that Jay sent you. Guys, this is absolutely incredible, and I can't wait to find out what kind of trouble Meg Foster gets into as motherboard. Holy crap, everybody, this is absolutely incredible. I have to tell you, I, of course, as everybody on this channel already knows, I'm a huge, huge fan of Master Universe, the motion picture from 1987. It is and does still, in my personal opinion, my personal opinion, rank as one of the best kids' movies of that era. I love that film. I have collected it in multiple forms and as many times as I can. It's just absolutely so near and dear to my heart. Guys, Meg Foster returning and re-entering the world of Master Universe is just an absolute huge treat for anybody who was a fan of that film. But her presence, her you know, voice is just so haunting and so beautiful that it really, even if she wasn't in the original Master Universe film, I think it would have been a wonderful choice, bar none, for a character like Motherboard. I can't wait to see what she does with the character. This is going to be so great. But it brings up so many other questions. I mean... Knowing that she has actually joined the cast of Master of the Universe Revolution, we're still in the dark about who is going to be playing Hordak. So, do we dare dream, everybody? Do we dare, you know, hold out any hope that Frank Langella could possibly be Hordak in the upcoming Master of the Universe Revolution? Oh my god, wouldn't that absolutely be in freaking sane? Bringing everything full circle. For the anniversary of the Master Universe, this would be absolutely crazy. Guys, I'm super excited about what the possibilities would bring for these moves. All of the cast and crew who are involved with Master Universe Revolution, this is absolutely crazy, guys. I can't wait to find out exactly what's happening with this series. This is absolutely in freaking sane. Guys, let me know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts about this announcement that Meg Foster is returning to the Master Universe family? Oh my goodness, I'm super pumped up. Are you as pumped up and excited as I am about her return to the Masters of the Universe family? This is crazy. And what are your thoughts about her casting for Motherboard? I mean, this is an interesting decision by Ted Biaselli and of course, Kevin Smith. It's these decisions that really make or break a series and I'm super excited about what she could bring to the overall mythos of the series. I'm also wondering if she could have been someone else in the series as well. Maybe she'll play a dual role, you never know. Perhaps Motherboard has some stark secret inside of her. I mean, we really don't know where she comes from, we really don't know what type of character she is. So I'm very, very curious to see how Meg Foster will be playing her. And that also brings up that final lingering question, who? Who will be playing Hordak? I am so curious about this and I really am holding out hope that it could be Frank Langella. Guys, please leave those comments in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out. And if you're in the position to help out the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon page. It's Mega J Retro on Patreon. Guys, the patrons of the channel help me make wonderful episodes every single week, and I couldn't do it without them. They are the best. Thank you so much for your support, everybody. It really means the world to me. Guys, I hope you're all doing well. Stay safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Good journey, everyone. Geek proud.
I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much, everybody. It's thanks to your support that this channel continues to grow. And I really could not have done this without you. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing.